So we've seen and understand um, voltages that uh, that are the sources. What a source voltage looks like, and what the uh, what the internal resistances um, can look like and act like uh, in a simple voltage source. Like I said, even just uh, a battery or a series of batteries. So now let's look at a current source. So we're going to look at the characteristics of the current source. We're going to compare practical current sources to ideals, just like we did with the voltage, and discuss the effect of loading on a practical current source. So just like the voltage source, you can see here that we have a loaded and an unloaded condition. So in an ideal source, again, it doesn't show any internal resistance. So our source, uh, typically for a current source, is this circle and arrow representation telling us it's a current source and that it uh, uh, is flowing in one direction or the other. So the unloaded and the loaded representations of a current source where we add uh, on the loaded side a resistive load. Again, typically just a model of any type of resistive, lo a resistive load. A light bulb, a heater, a speaker, anything that can be uh, used as a load. So in the case now of a practical current source, okay, as opposed to an ideal, again, you'll notice that we have added a internal resistance. Now, instead of the resistance being in series with the load, the internal resistance is placed in parallel or shunt with the load. So again, if we take a look um, at our examples here, calculate the current load for the following values, R sub L. I'm going to let you do this. I'll give you three values of the um, load itself. The resistance will stay at 10 K ohms, and you will vary 100, 100, 560, and 1 K ohm out here on the load and calculate what you think that the load, um, that varying that load is going to do to the circuit. So what is the symbol for an ideal current source? Well, just as we've seen before, it is just the source with no impediments, no resistor. The practical current source then has a resistor in series or in parallel or shunt with the load itself and with the source. So now we're going to take a look at um, conversion, source convergence, uh, and determine what we can do um, to turn current sources into voltage sources and voltage sources into current sources, and then look at terminal equivalency.